Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we have a new ESC4 review, which we'll be doing noise testing on. This is the T-Motor F45 amp ESC, which is rated up to A6S, which is really nice. Since a lot of people are going that route, I myself am not going that route, but that's a personal opinion and personal preference. Now it is a Beale High 32, which is 32 bit. Filtration looks superb. It has a lot of filtration on board, which is really nice to see. They're pretty big uh, caps here. We also do have an RGB LED. If you're into that, you do have that. Nice fat heat sink here. I mean, they're using small MOSFETs. They're not using the big MOSFETs here. I would have really liked if they used bigger MOSFETs because they can just cope with heat a lot better, especially if you're going to be running some kind of a 6S setup. Not saying that this will produce the performance in any sort of way, but it's always nicer to see bigger FETs here. Now, this is everything they do provide you in the package. Nothing else. No extra heat shrink, and it comes already pre-heat shrunk. And I really like how the motor pads are portrayed out, and they are separated, so you don't risk the chance of bridging these two, which is a huge plus. And uh, it's it's using quite a lot of copper, as you can tell right there. That's a, that's a pretty massive PCB here for the ESC. So it's going to have some really good current flow in there. And uh, for wires, they're using silicone wires, except I think I think these are silicone. They, they feel silicone. So yeah, they're using silicone everywhere. And uh, they do have 16 gauge wires for the ESC power. However, it doesn't have a telemetry pad that's accessible, but you can possibly get telemetry from one of these. I'm not sure just yet. We'll have to check that in a later video. And there's also no current sensing on board. So there is no shunt resistor, as you can see right here. So that's totally fine in my opinion, as long as they use that real estate for something better, which is capacitors. And I would have wished they removed the LED and put another capacitor, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and jump to the testing and see how this tests and um, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so the testing results are in and just looking at it before even comparing it to anything. I think this is the second best ESC I have ever tested. T-Motor is doing a hell of a job. But again, T-Motor, just drop your prices down slightly. That'll make it more attractive. All right, so let's start comparing it. Let's bring in the best ESC I've ever tested, which was the Tico 32 ESC, not the foreign one, sorry, the standalone ESC, here it is. So we kind of get an idea of what's really going on. And again, uh, this is the throttle noise level test. We got 10%, 25, 50, 75%, 100% throttle. This gives us an idea of uh, the noise on each level of the throttle and if it is susceptible possibly to mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise. However, this one, you are not likely to have mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise on a T-Motor F45 amp. And on the bottom, we have simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now on the left now, we have the Tico 32. So as you can tell, Tico 32 is still better, but both of these are in the same league, in the same class, basically. They're performing uh, just about the same. But in terms of filtration, obviously, Tico 32 is winning here, and it's, ve it's very noticeable. But in real world, it's not that much of a big difference, to be honest. Uh, now, if we take a look here, again, this is comparing it to the best for the best ESC I've ever tested. And um, I don't think I could compare this ESC to anything else, but we're going to start bringing in the budget ESCs, the good budget ESCs, and to get an idea. And also, you know what, let's bring in the DYS R standalone ESC because that one's a really good ESC as well and so I think it's really well priced as well right now so here's the throttle noise for the DYS Aria and here's the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers uh, the T-Motor F45 amp wins here um, not by a lot but it's actually winning here it's, it's running much cleaner as you can tell you want to see more red you don't want to see you know the purple and green and blue here you want to see it kind of the amplitude to be consistent and confined as small as possible you want to see the red as small as possible here and um, yeah, the T motor is uh, is definitely winning here. And again, this is this is I think the second best ESC I've ever tested. Uh, let's see what else do we have on the list here. So let's bring in a, a really nice budget ESC, which is the Spedex IS30. This is a ten dollar ESC. However, it's a D shot six hundred. So uh, let's bring in the throttle. 
and let's bring in the noise color here and we'll just bring them down here so as you can tell oh sorry about that all right so you can tell they're almost identical in the throttle noise level test however this has just a little uh, you know it just has some voltage spikes here and a little bit less i mean lower voltage drops but overall still performing really good uh not as clean as the uh, T Motor F45 amp, but this is, you know, it's it's a, it's a really remarkable package for 10 bucks. I'll have it linked down below. Now, if we take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, they're both really good. However, the T Motor is better at uh, suppressing the higher voltage spikes here and also reducing the amount of voltage drops. So you can check that out for yourself. I told you this ESC was also very good when I said it's one of the best budget ESCs here. Uh, let's bring in something else. Let's bring in, hmm. Let's bring in the Hack RC Bundle ESC. And here we have the Hack RC Bundle. This is a pretty crazy bundle. It comes with the flight control and four ESCs and the RBL Heli 32 ESCs. And here's another comparison. The T-Motor obviously wins, but not by a long stretch. I mean, this is, you know, it's it's not that big of a difference here. But again, T-Motor is the second best ESC I have uh, tested here. So it's doing really great. And um, yeah, that's all I could currently say, guys. It's a, it's a good ESC. Uh, it gets a thumbs up for me. However, T-Motor, I wish you would price your drop your prices somewhat just a little uh just because you know you're it's you're not really reinventing the wheel here or making you know a super crazy smooth esc it's just um there's other ones in the market that perform just as good for a little bit cheaper so if you could drop that price down that'd be absolutely great and i think more people would probably pick some up and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section because your thoughts are very important and you know whatever you guys reflect is whatever the company's going to try to do to make everybody happy and well that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.